Hi everyone and welcome back to our Crybaby Wimps Challenge. We're starting off with Rosalie again in school studying for the exams with a couple of her, well I guess not really friends but acquaintances definitely. Oh and Lola is also studying for the exams with us and she's not pregnant anymore which means that she actually had her baby. Let's take a little look. Yeah she did. I don't know what she had. I don't think that I can ask but maybe at some point we can go visit but maybe it's a bit too soon once her baby is like an infant or something. Maybe it's going to be appropriate to visit but okay let's focus on Rosalie and her maybe trying to chat with her new potential friends here and oh this person is quite mean isn't she we kind of figured that out before oh she's feeling angry though I don't think that's really gonna do anything oh wait actually I just realized something this girl's name is Alison Edgar Edgar is um definitely not a very common surname is it now I'm getting a little concerned I need to check something oh my god I was right this girl Allison, who's like mean to everyone at school, I think that she was like a bit of a bully on her first day or something. She's literally a daughter of Eric and Megan. If you watched season three and even season two, you'll know who they are. That's terrifying that that's their daughter. Oh my god. Okay, I guess that we'll be staying away from Allison then. Anyway, we're heading to class, and while Rosalie is going, I want to show you that she actually has some interesting ones. She's feeling very flirty and she wants to ask Chastity out. She also has this go on a date pinned for a while. So I feel like we already know what we're doing after school today. So let's just see a little seating situation. You're sitting next to, oh, next to Annie. You're kind of like relatively all right friends, although you don't really know her that well. We also have Elliot here who we haven't talked to in a bit. So we kind of need to update him on what's happening with Chastity and also Angelique, the same thing. But that kind of seems like everyone here is doing okay. Okay, we're having a bit of social studies. Oh, and the principal is here right next to Lola. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, she's yelling at Elliot. I was gonna say, if she, is she coming over to like chat with Lola because she's in a very unique situation? But no, she came over to like yell at Elliot. That's interesting. Oh, spiky ceiling. Whoosh, another classmate tosses a pencil up and it perfectly sticks into the ceiling. Everyone in the class can't seem to pay attention to the board anymore instead of focusing on the ceilings hanging above them. This could be Rosalie's moment to shine. Is it time to become class famous and stick the landing? No, I don't think that she would want to. She still really cares about like her school and everything. She does want to be like good with her friends and everything, but this is really not required. Is this why Elliot was in trouble with the principal? Let's not follow Elliot's advice and just not do that today. Oh, and Elliot came over to sit next to her in the front row. Did the principal send him there to like concentrate a little bit better? All right, fair enough. Oh, he's falling asleep. Oh my gosh, he's not having a good day today is he well the class just ended so let's immediately go chat with chastity because i feel like oh my gosh look at that they're so excited both of them i feel like rosalie was thinking about her kind of all night she's finally the first person that she has a bit of romance with so i feel like rosalie's really excited about that so let's just chat with chastity just show her something on your phone whatever just keep her attention on you i feel like she would really want that and chastity doesn't seem to mind so i feel like we're doing pretty well but we can just like tell her a little story a little secret tell her that we're kind of thinking about her do like a little hug just like innocent stuff but we do need to be focusing on actually getting to know her a little bit better so i'm just going to be jumping to these like little interests and stuff maybe just discuss your general interests we want to be learning as much as possible about chastity but to be fair it is lunch right now so maybe we should like oh they're doing like a little hug but we should like probably let her go to like have lunch maybe we can just go here so while chastity is also having lunch we could go oh lola is eating all by herself oh my gosh are other people rejecting her because she has a baby now that's so messed up where's kai why is he not eating with her where is kai i actually don't see him that's concerning oh and chastity's actually coming to join us so are you like on better terms with lola now hopefully at least maybe she's trying for rosalie because she sees that their conflict is upsetting her that's good all right and lola's feeling kind of happy she's not being mean for once so i'll take it so we can all just kind of hang out now let's not not focus on flirting with Chastity.
curiosity, we can just kind of like have a nice little hangout here, at least kind of try, because we kind of want these two to be friends again. And a teacher is sitting with us. A little, a little uncomfortable, but all right, let's just ignore her and try to hang out a little bit. Well, we do need to be friendly to a faculty member, so I guess that we can do that. Oh, but Chastity's feeling flirty. I feel like Rosalie is kind of desperate to flirt with her. Oh, and they just lost a bit of friendship. I think that it is maybe a little awkward that Lola's here and a teacher as well. While we are here, let's maybe try to ask Lola about Kai one more time just to make sure that they're both like all right. But I think that lunch is gonna end in a bit anyway. I still don't see Kai anywhere, which is a little odd. But let's see what Lola's gonna say about him. Okay, they're still together, so that's good. And these two are actually both studying for the exams, which is kind of far away, isn't it? I think that they're on Friday, so we don't really have much to worry about. Oh, they also have like their little cheerleading thing. Maybe Lola's back at cheerleading. That'd be kind of nice for her, wouldn't it? But yeah, we have high school exams, but we also have prom on Saturday. But I feel like this time Rosalie is not going to be worried about who's going to be her prom date because it's definitely going to be Chastity again, which is kind of a big deal to have the same prom date two times in a row, isn't it? Oh my gosh, are you getting offended by the teacher? That's crazy. Oh my god, you need to be like reported or something. But all right, let's just go to class, try to ignore this mean teacher yelling at students for no reason. Who are we going to be sitting next to? I feel like it might be Lola or Chastity. Okay, it's not her. Oh, it's Chastity. Chastity's coming over to sit next to her in the front row. How cute is that? So I think that Chastity also kind of wants Rosalie's attention. It was just a bit of a bummer to have Lola and the teacher involved during lunch. So fair enough. It looks like both of them want to spend some time together for it to just be the two of them. So I think that a date is a really good idea. At least some kind of like attempt at a date. I guess that we'll see how that works. We only know one of her traits so far, but to be fair, that does leave us with just one more to find out. So I guess that we are kind of making good progress there and they do have good comparability. Everything's looking good. So I feel like Rosalie is a pretty happy with how things are going so far, but luckily she's also still focusing on school, even though she's feeling so flirty. Oh, the classics. Today, Rosalie is learning about classics and literature. Oh my gosh, she would love this. No young adult fiction like the bladder games here. Only boring books like Christ is Born. If there wasn't a movie made out of it, then how is it any good? Doesn't make the pop quiz any easier to answer though. Maybe a quick glance at the story notes app will help Rosalie get through the quiz. No, if anything, she would absolutely smash this. She would be so good at this. No cheating today. Oh no, she actually lost a bit of performance. Rosalie muddled through the quiz as best as she could, but without a good understanding of the story, she got some bad results. Oh, I feel like she is really just thinking about chastity all the way here because there's no way that she would fail a literature quiz. That's crazy. She did impress the teacher despite failing that quiz, so that's pretty good. Well, let's just maybe suggest meeting up to Chastity after she has cheer practice because she is cheer captain and that starts in, I think, 20 minutes. So we need to give her some time to do her cheer. We can go home, but maybe just like confirm it with a little hug or something. So, okay, it looks like these two will be meeting up in a bit, but let's just go home and I guess get ready for it while she's in cheer. Oh God, the weather at home is absolutely horrible. I think that Rosalie would be more than happy to go somewhere. But speaking of, let's try to get ready for that. So you need to be eating some food. So let's get you some leftovers and whatever else you need to do. Maybe just apply some facial cleanser. What else do you need? You don't really need that much. So once you have food, I think that you can do a bit of homework. Oh, I need to jump to Flora, who's just weeding this one little plant forever. I've been having this bug specifically with Flora. Well, in this household, I think this one particular plant for like a while now. Let's just stop you there because she's going to be doing that forever. But anyway, I need you to actually just pay your bills real quick. And after she does that, I kind of need to show you because you can see already that she's looking a little bit different. So Flora got a bit of a makeover. She is looking real old right now because I realized that she actually is like so old. It's crazy. She's been born midway through generation one. Now we're kind of like maybe a quarter through or like even a third through generation four. She's been around for ever and she's actually been around like for a really long time in like real time. I've 
been playing with Flora for almost two whole years. She's been born in, I think, July of 2022. And now it's March of 2024. So like close enough to two years. So that's absolutely crazy. And like a little spoiler alert. I'm not going to tell you how many days she has left, but she doesn't have many. I think that we'll have maybe like two, three episodes left with her. But considering the fact that she is so old, older than a lot of my like average Sims, I gave her a really like old timey makeover. So she's like a real proper grandma look. I mean, it's not really, but it's just a bit updated. So it's a little comfier and a little bit more also like cottagecore-esque because she's really embracing that look again because she did have to change it once she ran away to the city. But now she's finally back in her little element. So she's looking like pure grandma. I absolutely love that for her and it's just looking so cute. So let me know what do you think. But all right, Rosalie just started her homework. So after we finish that, we'll go out somewhere with Chastity, make it maybe into an official date because she really, really wants to do that. But I think that the smartest thing here would be to have her finish her homework, especially because she kind of failed that quiz today that she definitely should have aced. So I'm a little concerned. To be fair, she is like a max student on top of her class and everything. So I don't think that this is like affecting her schoolwork too much, but something is going on. I think that she has romance on her mind maybe a tiny bit too much. She's probably just getting really excited. So she needs to be on top of her homework. And then after that, we'll see Chastity. Oh, Chastity just walked into the house. I guess that she just came over here immediately after cheer. Okay, that's that's crazy. All right. Um, I guess that we'll just be going to that date together as in like literally physically going there together. Chastity is inviting Rosalie to prom. Will she go? I mean, of course, I kind of wanted to like do like a proposal sign and everything, but I mean, we did try that once and it didn't go well. So maybe it's just easier to let Chastity ask. So let's just say yeah. And this happened exactly like last time where Chastity just decided to come over here, take the initiative and just grab her girl and go, right? <laughs> Um, I mean, all right, now that Rosalie is going to be done with her homework in a second, she's patiently waiting. But yeah, we can actually go on that date together. So let's officially ask her on a date. And I'll just take this as like a little thing that we're walking Chastity home. So we'll go back to Copperdale because I know that that's where she lives. And she actually lives right here. So I feel like going to this boba shop just like on the way there would be kind of cute. So let's just take her there. So let's just sit here with with Chastity and do a bit of chatting, try to find out as much as we can about her. Oh, we literally just found out that she's neat. So now we officially know both of her traits. So I guess that Rosalie does feel like she knows her pretty well. Their friendship bar is also pretty full. So now it kind of feels like it's a little bit more appropriate to actually start working on the romance bar. And oh my gosh, she actually wants to kiss someone. Oh my gosh, Rosalie's actually ready for that step. No way. I didn't think that she'd be ready quite yet but I was thinking about it, but definitely now she's thinking about it as well. We're not going to be just jumping into it, although we could, but let's just try to do like a bit of flirtation, just try to have a good time here. And maybe if we get our like little bar on the date to be gold, maybe we can celebrate that with a kiss. I feel like that would be kind of appropriate. So let's just do like a little, a little flirtation, do a bit of jokes. I think that this is going to go so well. It's actually so adorable. I didn't expect that these two would be together. That was like my last guess, but it's it's real sweet. So let's just do a bit of jokes as well because we need to do that for the date. Oh, they need to be flirty. Okay, Um. well, we can get there for sure because they both seem pretty into each other. Have a deep conversation with your date. We can definitely do that as well. So let's do a bit of those. I think that Chastity is a really into whatever Rosalie is telling her about. So she seems is like deeply interested. I think that that's a really good thing. Oh my gosh, and she's flirting with her. So we are definitely both having a really good time here. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. She's feeling so confident as well. So she's not like shy to be on her first ever date or anything. It's working so well. Oh, it is getting a little boring as soon as I said that, but it's already a golden date. That's crazy. The problem is I think that although Rosalie wants to do that, I don't think that she really wants to like 
like jump into kissing chastity because she's maybe a little bit scared to do that it's a little bit intimidating but let's just try to work on the date goals and if it comes up here then we can get to it well to be fair we do kind of have to hurry things up a little bit if we want to get to the kiss although things are getting a little stale now oh no it's a boring conversation i feel like rosalie is a lot more academic than chastity is so maybe they don't really have that much to talk about they just really like each other but it's not really like a very sort of deep so oh my gosh this person just brought us food <laughs> i mean i love that okay thank you oh my gosh look at elliot being completely like a fashion icon browsing clothing here that's crazy please do not be spying on your besties date that's just creepy but okay let's try to chat with chastity a little bit more try to oh maybe she doesn't like having deep conversations okay we can kind of get rid of that then maybe just complete it because they technically did have them it just didn't really work out that well but it is 10 p.m rosal is getting a little tired i feel like if we want to jump for that kiss we kind of need to get to that immediately before curfew starts if anything so let's just try do a first kiss which is a little awkward because right now she's eating these like hamburgers i'm sure that her breath is not really like perfect so she's maybe freaking out about that a little bit maybe that wasn't like the best choice but i don't think that chastity is gonna mind but she's maybe overthinking that a little bit okay okay it's happening it's happening her first ever kiss there we go oh my god i'm so proud of her look at that they're both so happy right in front of elliot who's just pretending that he didn't see anything i absolutely love that you nosy nosy guy i totally see it oh my god it's very awkward chastity doesn't like him oh okay i mean I mean, yeah it is weird please don't insert yourself into the situation oh my gosh okay i guess that elliot just doesn't have any boundaries i love that well now that we kind of did that and it was real good maybe we should just kind of go because too many people are just getting involved but it was a gold date and they had a lot of fun oh no but i just realized that she broke curfew flora is gonna be so mad it's past 11 p.m she's looking so disappointed oh no she would be so angry about this teach her about responsibility tell her how irresponsible this was but also lecture her about it and this definitely can't go unpunished i think that will actually have to ground her although she's giving her a hug she definitely missed her and she's happy to see that rosalie is okay but we do kind of have to go into full-on like parenting mode and discipline this and we kind of do have to be like super strict about it and just ground her for breaking curfew because that wasn't okay she has this curfew for like two days and she broke it already which really was irresponsible i mean she did get like carried away and everything but it's not an excuse so i'm afraid rosalie you'll have to be grounded for the first time ever and you just can't leave the house no going out just go to school come back you have no business going out if you don't know how to stick to the rules i hope that this like bypasses school i guess that we'll see but you have no business going out anywhere so that's gonna be her punishment for one day it's the next morning and i just caught this that rosalie is going through a rebellion rebellious phase oh my gosh she wants to challenge parental authority immediately after getting grounded for the first time the timing of that is just incredible but let's have you just get yourself ready for school and i mean she did do her homework yesterday so we don't really have to do much when it comes to that so as usual we can just have you maybe do a bit of yoga practice Oh, and Flora is out doing chores. They're not like really arguing, but Flora is definitely being like a lot firmer with Rosalie than Rosalie is used to. And I don't think that she'd be too happy if she knew that Rosalie breaking curfew was because of some like romance things. I think that Flora would be quite against that, but she can't really forbid it either oh it's already time for school i was having rosalie make some breakfast so she didn't get a chance to eat all right let's join her anyway so let's start our day at the school gym as usual at this point but the thing that i realized is that look at this this is so stupid she's also doing stuff at school like stealthily because she's grounded so school technically counts as like leaving the house sure but it's not like for going out i don't know if this is like a thing that they overlooked in the like cross path compatibility or what but that's just crazy i don't think that she's losing responsibility for this though so i guess that she's okay it's just kind of weird but now that she kind of finished here i mean we do have victor here who was her first ever crush so we could just kind of be like talking to him just as a friend but i don't think i really want to bother oh and lola's here as well but speaking of victor and her like previous crush now that she has basically almost a girlfriend which she isn't but i'll talk about that in a second we kind of need to start getting over some old crushes so let's try to get over kirsten because like she doesn't really 
really have a reason to be thinking about her still or Victor. So let's try to just kind of get over them. Hopefully that's going to work because thinking about them still would be kind of ridiculous. So let's do the same for Victor. She can't get over Kirsten, however, still. I guess that that rejection was just so painful. She can't get over Victor, maybe because he's literally just in her line of sight. So it's just kind of hard because he's looking kind of good. But all right, let's just get away from him then and maybe get you some food. Oh, she's going to eat with Annie and Angelique. Oh my God. Okay, Angelique just left and Annie as well. Oh my God, no, everyone's going to class while she's still eating. I feel like she'll be late to class and she'll be in trouble. Okay, technically still not late. There we go. Three minutes, two minutes. Oh, she just made it in like the final seconds. Again, in her front row seat. So let's see who's here. I mean, everyone's here like in the usual class as always, but who's where? Oh, we have Elliot here who I think probably told everyone that he saw these two at a date yesterday. I mean, not in like a malicious way, but you know how it is in high school. Things just kind of spread. There's always a bit of gossip, a bit of rumors, even if it's not in like a mean spirit. So I feel like everyone kind of knows already that these two went on a date. But I did want to mention that, that they're not dating yet. I could be technically asking her to be her girlfriend because I'm pretty sure that I can do that. Yeah, ask to be girlfriend stealthily, but I'm not really gonna yet. I'm kind of thinking, unless Chastity asks her before, because Sims can be quite aggressive with that, and Chastity, I guess, especially, because she did ask to go to prom twice already. But I'm kind of thinking to leave that interaction for prom. I think that asking at prom while they're going together, that'll be their second prom together, it'll be really cute. So they won't be officially dating until then, but Rosalie's already kind of considering them to be dating. And I guess that Chastity, is as well. It's just not like official official because we're waiting for a good opportunity to ask unless Chastity decides to ask at any point so we're just gonna be leaving that to her but I lowkey hope she doesn't because it'll be kind of cuter to ask at prom. But now the lunch started we can go and chat with Elliot kind of explain what he saw yesterday to like confirm yup it was a date I went on a date and it was so good. Oh Lola is still staying here. Is she not going to lunch with other people? I feel like Lola really is left out. Oh I feel so bad because of that because Kai doesn't doesn't seem to have the same problem so I feel like everyone's kind of looking at her wrong and Kai who is in the same situation is still just like treated normal which is like so messed up and sad but all right let's just focus on Elliot because we are kind of telling him yep it was a date and we had her first kiss I mean he did see so he knows already but still we want to share that with our I guess new best friends um I mean we could technically actually make him a best friend I think that they are kind of ready so let's try to get to that you can say that he's your favorite I don't know where the interaction is to make him like her best friends you can also complain about Flora and tell him that you're like grounded for a bit and it's just so awkward and weird and you don't like it but okay whatever you're just so happy that it doesn't really matter oh dustin just died so that's one less enemy to worry about oh and yeah here's kai here and where is lola is she not included in like the cafeteria talks where is she i feel so worried for her honestly but anyway where are we sitting same usual spot but this time next to chastity oh that's kind of cute but hopefully that's not gonna be too distracting because she's feeling very flirty so i don't really want her to mess up her schoolwork. She again impressed the teacher. Okay, that's wonderful and it's just Chastity here waiting for her. But no, let's not chat with Chastity and just go to this classroom and attend this exam prep. Oh, Kirsten, who you're sitting next to. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, And Kirsten's yelling at someone. I feel like the vibes in this classroom are not nice. Let's maybe try again and try to get over Kirsten because I'm just kind of sick of that crush at this point. And she finally got over her. And I did the same for Victor, who's like standing right here. So that's awkward. And she actually did get over Victor, but she is getting so tired. So as she promised to Flora, she did arrive home immediately after school. And she's so exhausted that she just kind of wants to like take a little nap and rest after her very eventful day. So I'm just gonna let her do that right here and I'm gonna end it here and I think that for the next episode we kind of have to tell Flora about chastity because right now we haven't had a chance to do so but I'm sure that Rosalie really wants to be like keeping Flora in the loop especially because romance is a bit of a touchy subject in this household so we really want to make sure that Flora doesn't feel like Rosalie's hiding something. Oh you're awake now. Okay, hello. Looking really mad to be awake. But if you want to see how that goes, click right here for the next episode. And if the next episode is not here, okay, goodbye. But if you want to see the next episode, you can click right here. And if it's not out yet, here's something to watch while you wait. See you there.